Hi Taurus, what's up? Jackie here, she, hers, this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Mars, Mercury, and Venus, and Rising. Check the placements in your chart. Taurus, your sex tarot energy is intense. So you got the Nine of Cups in the reverse, so I can see that there's a lot of you where some sort of wish fulfillment did not go through with a partner, partner, spouse, sexuality, or in relationships overall. This could have been like, oh, I wish I could have gone on that date with this person. This could have been a breakup. This could have been maybe alcohol getting in between a relationship with you and a partner because this is the Nine of Cups in reverse. Something didn't go right emotionally in a relationship and I feel like you are at a standstill. I feel like some of you have really gone through it in regards of depression, anxiety, maybe some things with your mental health, just with the dark, dreary colors, maybe seasonal affective disorders, something that you are processing through and experiencing too, Bill. And some of you are really needing to be mindful to not go backwards. I'm recording this during Mercury Retrograde. By the 25th, we are out of the Mercury Retrograde and... We also have the post shadow period until May 13th. So spirit is saying like, don't go back to things in life that maybe put you at a standstill. Relationships and sex with people that were not as good as you were hoping for, not that wish fulfillment. It's like the sex is not that good. And these relationships are not that good. And you don't need to go backwards in order to learn that lesson and apply it in order to move forward here. There's a lot of sexual insights and reflection that you are doing too. And some of you need to be at a standstill because spirit is saying protect your energy maybe from people. Relationships that are not healthy at this time are good for you. Set boundary, cleanse your home workspace, and let go to go of those who are not there for your highest good. And I feel like some of you are doing that. Seeing how these two people in this are like arms crossed and like looking away. I think you're crossing or maybe letting go or releasing some people. Twelves, the twelfth house in astrology represents subconscious the psyche hidden enemies too Taurus I don't know if some of you went through something with a friend a frenemy a relationship a partner a spouse a co-worker a colleague whatever but it's like something you feel stuck in during this time and you don't know how to move forward and there needs to be like this coming together moment between the two of you this says alienation stalemate stagnation withholding grinding to a halt insensitivity and mistrust so trust could have been broken in a relationship or a situation maybe you are long distance um in a relationship and maybe some of you haven't seen this person or people in your life for a long time and you're kind of alienating yourself or isolating yourself Flip those energies in reverse. But I do see that a lot of you have been maintaining a low profile with this protect your energy card overall and really doing things in order to protect yourself. It says self-protection there. And making sure that you are proceeding with caution first. Now, this could be different types of conversations that you're having. With Mercury being in retrograde, there could have been a blow up. There could have been a fight. There could have been miscommunication overall. You could have been receiving delays with um, sex or messages or texts going through or invites to in regards of relationships, whatever. And really, some of you have been maintaining a low profile or this is other people in your life as well, too. So always flip the energies in reverse, Taurus. Um, I don't know who this is for. So as always, take what resonates with you. Trust your intuition with my reads, boo. And for those of you that are new here, make sure that you like and hit subscribe below as well as leave me a comment, too. But a lot of you are really creating the sex life that you want to in relationships with partners during this time. Some of you really do need to initiate. We have have the creative, the yang principle coming out overall, strength, tenacity, heaven, masculinity, authority figure to some of you might be father figures during this time and maybe you're creating a family as well here. Then we have the joyous, happiest, delight, and interaction. This is beautiful, Taurus. We'd love to see it. So this says open communication, goodwill, friendly persuasion, and self-expression. You can definitely see that with the um, sacral chakra here and also the throat chakra with the colors of orange and blue. Those could be... <coughs> 
confirmation, <laughs> excuse me, very significant to you during this time. You need to speak up, talk things out, pull from that um, energy of when it comes to sex and sexuality. Dragonflies could be significant to you at this time. Um, and also huh, pay attention to the spiritual animals around you too that may be giving you signs about relationships or hits or psychic downloads or intuitive dreams or different images precognitions, premonitions, things of, things of that sort. If you want to know what dragons fly, flies mean, um, tell me in the comments below. But this is really you needing to take action confidently in your sex life and relationships with people and express yourself. Like that express yourself song and move forward. Ask that person out on the date. Um, make the first move. Talk to this person. Put yourself out there at the end of the day and retreat. And we have birds coming out here too. Again, animal confirmation. 33s could be very significant for you. You could be 33 year old. That could be an important number for you overall in numerology. You could be seeing it a lot, but 33s really represent the confidence that I was talking about pulling from that solar plexus chakra and expressing yourself moving forward. We also have a timely departure, letting go, withdrawal, reevaluation. Don't hesitate to walk away in retirement. So some of you are walking away from a relationship. I do see that and you need to maintain discipline and not letting this person yourself back down with moving forward in this as this says create a strategy um, it's time to take the bull by the horns define what this is and exert your authority exert your power in relationships and sex and sexuality during this time here top of the deck again we have your overall energy the standstill it feels like some of you are moving through things from the past here too where you want to put yourself out there because there has been a lot of difficult obstacles there has been a lot of dark depression here another confirmation with the colors the feelings of hopelessness struggle discouragement and frustration they're telling you sexual frustration some of you could be frustrated maybe because you've been going back to the same ex or partner or spouse or fuck buddy hookup runs with benefits and it hasn't been as successful and we have deliverance it's like when you release yourself from this you're gonna feel exhilarated it's a fresh for approach here so just pay attention to any exes ex friends relationships people in your life trying to come back to you during this time and we also have cutting the deck gathering together mass and converging assembling the sum is greater than the um than its parts so really call on your family your friendships during this time for those of you that are dealing with some different struggles or relationship breakups or whatever Let's pull from the astro sex decks most important messages for taurus sex tiles sexual growth inspiration cooperation feeling encouraged within your reach this could be from relationships in your life. I love that. And when I just said, hey, long-term partnerships, you're being influenced by your seventh house in this read. Um, this really talks about Libra energy. So a lot of you might be getting married. There could be a proposal that is on a way. Congratulations for that. But really long-term partnerships and sharing with pleasure in pleasure with others first. So like I said, call on your friends during this time, the people in your life. We also have um, some of you feeling very encouraged to talk about your goals and what I say about Libra double confirmation I have the balance of giving and receiving in my relationships overall energy is the moon needing to focus on emotional intimacy and bonding here so slowing down and honing in on trusting your intuition um, with some things as well tell me about the sexual growth here what's going on what does Taurus need to know magician in the reverse there may be some sort of um, false start with this ten of cups in the reverse tower moment okay Three of Cups. Okay. So you have the Magician in the reverse and the Ten of Cups in the reverse and a major tower moment. Aries Scorpio energy. This just tells me that with your sexual growth, some of you did go through a breakup. You lost it all. A family, a friendship, a loved one, a partner, a spouse, whomever. And it was like this major tower moment, but this shakeup had to happen for three of cups to come in and the three of wands, brand new groups, opportunities, beginnings. There's that 33 again, that passionate energy. This is balancing out more so emotional intimacy, like right here with the moon, with your partner, partner spouses, with three of cups, also being a water sign energy here as well. With the three of wands, that's more passion, sexy energy, moving forth with creative desires. And I feel like for some of you, this 
sextile spiritual growth could have just been this is a breakup and a tower moment that needed to happen and i also feel like for some of you this is maybe breaking up so then you can open up into a polyamorous relationship where there is a um, third party and you know it's three partners that love each other in this poly dynamic for some of you this is really maybe um breaking up with somebody and then you get three dates and it causes a tower moment but it's like for the better like this shakeup had to change for a specific reason and moment here and I feel like spirit saying it was good for you to move forward Taurus like you had to do this in order for you to grow and push outside of your comfort zone overall you could also be having you know some group dates uh speed dating coming in hierophant yes like this was you this could have been you know you were in a soul union or in a marriage with someone and now you're choosing yourself and moving forward with this there's like no negative implications of it by the pentacles it could be experiencing depression right now during this time where this choice was being taken like it was too long that this choice was being made. you're gonna be happy you're gonna get those groups and be around those people and people that really love you and who you are over all during this time and those partnerships those friendships be careful as someone trying to reach out to you two swords in the upright i feel like you're gonna block them you're not going to follow up with them could be an aquarius they can have it in their chart but there's some sort of divine feeling that's happening with this past relationship dynamic tell me about seventh house Seven of Swords in the reverse. Ooh, you've been stabbed in the back in relationships and within your sex life. Yeah, Taurus energy, Empress, Libra. This could be a Libra or also a Taurus. Five of Swords in the reverse. And temperance, Sagittarius energy. You've been really well grounded, maintained here, really logical and diligent. Eight of Pentacles with moving forward and things in life and creating new patterns for yourself and your relationships. It seems like a lot of people have taken advantage of you, manipulated you, stolen from you, psychologically abused you, uh, created chaos and major changes here. This could be a Libra and this could be someone that you were married to. This could have happened during Libra season or Taurus season as well. You could have these placements in your chart too or a lot of seventh house energy placements that are just activated during this time but Sagittarius energy overall at the bottom of the deck temperance you've been balanced you've been patient you have been chill because you know that your blessings are going to be coming in here top of the deck overall nine of pentacles in the reverse this was not divinely guided being with this person whomever this might be you could have put them on a pedestal as like the queen of your world king of the world person you know your soulmate your life partner your whatever your bestie your um your work wife your work husband your work spouse whatever like you put somebody on a pedestal and maybe this was not the best thing to do or vice versa could be an Aquarius again and there needs to be a lot of divine healing here with your relationships I feel like because you are working on so many things with your healing there could be a lot of things that you know you have been in your head and in your mind a little bit too and maybe this is why this I balance my sexually giving and receiving in relationships is coming out too and not only sexually giving and receiving but just giving and receiving in relationships like maybe you need to take some time Taurus to receive a little bit more especially during your birthday season oh my god Taurus happy fucking birthday by the way I didn't say that my bad but tell me when your birthday is what you're doing in the comments below I love celebrating birthdays so I hope you're celebrating all seasons but tell me about this uh affirmation it's the swords in the reverse higher fit in the upright queen of pentacles Four of Cups in the upright. Spirit's giving you this opportunity, so don't miss it as your overall energy. It's like some of you don't believe that you deserve balance in a relationship or there's just some delays with this coming in. You're really in your mind and your head of wondering about are people going to invest time, energy, and effort into me? Are people going to want to see me? Are they going to hang out with me? Are they going to date me? Are they going to want to have sex with me? Are they going to want to balance this energy with me moving forward? And Spirit's saying like, yes, don't miss this opportunity. There could have been past lovers, yep, that maybe acted childish or like a child. We have lover's card in the reverse. Gemini, you could have been dealing with this that maybe really felt like they weren't solid or stable or dealing with some inner child healing or wounding patterns. Or maybe you are experiencing that too. 
You could also have Gemini in your chart as well, but Spirit's saying, yes, this is coming in. You deserve it. Two of Pentacles, your past relationships haven't worked out for a reason, and it's because they were not balanced. The Two of Pentacles in the original tarot is like someone trying to balance two coins or two pentacles, right? And going on a tightrope. And depending on what deck you look at, you know, this person is really ungrounded. They are not solid. Maybe there was, um, you know, this distribution of labor, um, they're telling me something about like a, God, it's a sociologist that's talking about like the labor. I don't remember, I don't remember if it's Marxism or maybe your name is Mark. I don't know who I'm talking to here, but like really thinking about this sociological standpoint of like past with exes and relationships and the distribution of labor from a sociological standpoint, when it comes to partner, partner, spouse, like division of labor with the household, division of, you know, money, division of uh, the energy and how much people are giving and receiving in this relationship. And that hasn't worked out necessarily for you in the past. So a lot of you are really calling in, needing this balance in relationships and sexuality and also like you haven't you've been giving so much sexually that now you have to receive and maybe you're just like no i'm fine maybe some of you are people pleasing right now is what they're saying like no i'm good like i it's okay i'm okay i don't want that i don't need that i don't whatever like let's just focus on you here um seven of pentacles you you are protected in the reverse though like you just don't believe you are protected and safe to ask for what you want because sometimes it hasn't been consensual. It seems like with the Wheel of Fortune and Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. Before one, someone does want to sexually celebrate you. Could be an Aquarius or Aries and you do have new opportunities coming in. But Ace of Wands in the upright. Some of you, this might be hookups, friends with benefits, fuck buddies. People that really want to come in and build this with you for it. So don't question yourself. You don't need to do that during this time. Um, be careful of any exes. Again, seven of swords, someone trying to steal your mind, your energy, just even thinking about people too much. And then it distracts you from your day, your work, your life, your play, your friendships, your community. And spirits like, don't give that person all that mental thought here for wants. Move forward. Sexually celebrate yourself. Some of you could be going to a wedding, invited to a wedding. You could be meeting someone there. It could be a Gemini or a Virgo, magician, brand new beginning, a new start here too, boo. So very beautiful. Um, let's see what these hop of the deck is here for you, Taurus. The sun card is actually where confident is coming out here. Knows what drives them in a relationship. Sevens are really significant for you during this read. You could be in your head during this time. A lot of you need to just play. Have that nice child romance. And what did I say about hookups? Like this is coming in right here, Taurus. This card came out in someone's overall energy. Some of you are pregnant. So again, congratulations for those of you that are going to be parents out there. Um, and really needing some fun energy coming in. Work on playing, okay? Conjunction is wanting to show here a new beginning. What have I been saying this whole fucking read, Taurus? A new beginning is here. Look at this, okay? So we have is being created and relationships are affecting you deeply now. 35, you could be 35. Breaks down to an eight. You're working on patterns, challenges, changes. What I say about Neptune? 12th house in astrology is Neptune. Really look, working on sexual dreams, fantasy. You could be escaping. You could be confused. There could be some subconscious hidden truths going on in your psyche. So Taurus, don't know who this is for. <laughs> Make sure to tell me what you got going on in the comments below because I'm very curious about this read here. It's very different than the other energies that I'm picking up on and channeling. Just go around with these sexual energy reads. So I just love to know, boo, what's going on with you. Drop a comment below and help my channel grow. Make sure you like this video and subscribe too. Be a part of my shameless squad. Um, first card out here, we have water. Some of you need to go to the beach. Some of you need to get out of your house. Some of you need to cleanse your water, take a salt bath, listen to waves, set intentions with water, stay hydrated. High vibes. What did I say about some of your two in your head? Keep your thoughts, energy, and vibrations high. Right now, you're being called to raise your vibration. Yes, makes sense with that. Really dark, dreary, depressive energy for some of you. And some of you are soul searching, figuring out who you are in this life, who your divine counterparts are, and your spiritual community. Absolutely. Relying on your community. Picked up on that. Needing to do that overall. Remember to shine bright. Dim your. Don't dim your light. Turn it up. Shine brightly. And keep 
shining uh, confidently and sparkling or keep sparkling, whatever I wrote on this card, right? <laughs> 21 again here, breaking down to that three, that solar plexus chakra. Uh, top of the deck, don't lower your vibrations to other people's, close them out, cut this off. This is not healthy for you. These relationships and energy vampires, let go of people, things, and the past. This is for your highest good, okay? So Taurus, a lot of you are really needing to work on your vibration, your energy, your wave, like, you know, you can't control what other people do or don't do in life. You can only control it. your response in those situations. And as a, and a response is different than a reaction as well. So if you are a person that typically cuts people off without trying to have a conversation with them, um, if they are healthy and maybe you need to do that. If you're a person that does need to cut people off because there's a lot of trauma, depression, negative energy vampires that are soul sucking, you know, the life out of you, your relationships feel maybe you do need to do that and set some really good boundaries for yourself and protect your energy overall okay Taurus thank you so much for being here tell me when your birthday is in the comments below and what you're doing Bill I would love to celebrate with you and make sure you hit subscribe we want to get those subscribers up help my channel grow and that algorithm yo but thank you again for being here check the other placements in your chart and stay tuned for more stay shameless